It's the birthday queen, Mrs. Clark. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm 30. I'm 30. Anywho, um, I don't got no plans. You see, I did my makeup. And uh, my best friend did my hair, slayed my hair, charmed by tree. Make sure you check her out. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I got on one of my gifts, well, several gifts, basically. I got a Pandora bracelet. And I got two charms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Courtesy of the hubby. Also got me a shirt. I'll take pictures later so y'all can get a better view of it. Uh, I had breakfast and I had my coffee. So I'm chilling. Yep. See? Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> messing with stuff, you don't got no beauty messing with. Y'all see her. She's from me. What's up? What's going on, YouTube? COC, Mr. Clark here. Uh, we're at the horse stables. Uh, Mrs. Clark, she wanted to ride a horse. She's never ridden one, so she's about to do that for the very first time. Uh, we just signed in. I already booked it. We're supposed to be here at 3 o'clock, but of course, like black people, we're always late. But better late than never. Uh, I think she getting set up. They gotta put a hat on her, on her head, and get her a saddle, and I go from there. So, y'all guys, stay tuned. See, mom. No, no. So I guess that's a horse.
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. No, hey, some of you. This is my first hike. What's up, YouTube? This is CLC back with another one, and this is your girl, Mrs. Clark. I wanted to come to you guys to tell you how my birthday went. I know I started off on my uh, birthday shooting a couple vids and stuff like that and um letting you guys know how my day was going well it started going so well i actually stopped shooting <laughs> so <laughs> this is basically me just giving y'all a recap of how my day went the big 3-0 i turned 30 seven days ago on september 10th and um it was wonderful i crossed them off on my bucket list thanks to my hubby he also, uh, as well as myself, um, gave myself some gifts early, and he added on to that. Um, for instance, charms on my bracelet, my Pandora bracelet. And, um, yeah, anywho, so we started off with breakfast. Um, I didn't bake it. The hubby did, and um, he cooked everybody breakfast. It was in my honor, and I didn't have to do anything. I let the kids have a day off. I was off, so that means no teaching. None. Not I. Mm -mm. No. Um, so, yeah. I basically had the day off. Not doing anything. Um, after that, we just chill. I put on some makeup like a full face. Not this. Because right now, I just got did a little eye. And some lips, no, but a full face. Y'all will see that beat, baby. It was beat. It was beat. I'm not an MUA, no, I'm self taught, but it was nice. It was nice. As y'all can see in most of all my videos where I have makeup on, it's me. Uh, I only got makeup professionally done one time, and that was in 2018 for one of our uh, photo shoots that we did. But normally, it's me. And for my birthday, it was beat, baby. It was beat. But anywho, that's enough of that. Um, I did check in with my classes and um, see what was due. If I had anything to do, did I need to do that? But I actually ended up finishing stuff early. And um, matter of fact, I take that back. I did do a little work on my birthday as far as school work. But... I was off from teaching my kids because normally I'm juggling both. Like, yeah, yeah. But that whole entire week I had plenty of work to do. I had exam and stuff like that. So, anywho. And uh, after we chilled and I, I did my face and stuff like that, I put on my first birthday outfit. My babe made me a shirt. And um, I had ordered some pants and stuff like that. And I already had some cute shoes. But my kids were my photographers and they didn't get my shoes so 
<laughs> but anywho, I went and took um, some pictures outside that were really cute. Got a, a lot of good feedback on uh, the gram and the book. And uh, anywho, um, my best friend came. Shout out to Charm by Tree. That's my girl. She more so like my sister than my friend. We've been friends since we were 12. And she came up the night before and did my hair. Yep, 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 yep. It's a whole like ponytail. I didn't wear it down for this video. But anywho, she did my hair. And, um, so it was really cute. And the pictures turned out really wonderful. And my hubby surprised me with something that was on my bucket list, which was riding, horseback riding. Riding horses. I've been wanting to do that since I was 25. I didn't do it. And I kept saying I wanted to do it. And I guess he was tired of hearing me say that. And he just, bam, I'm scheduling you a horseback ride. And I really didn't know he was going to do that. He kept saying, I'm like, no, nah, we don't have to do that. We chill in the house. He's like, no, nah, it's your 30th birthday. You ain't chilling in no house. We get that to do something. I'm like, whatever. It's not that serious. I guess he learned to annoy me sometimes. <laughs> but, anywho. Um, so, we went to do that. And I was real chilled at first. Like, I was so chill with the kids, with everything. Um... Then when I got there, and I was seeing how big them horses was, and I had to put on a helmet and all that stuff, like a dirty helmet, and I was like, eh. Anybody know me before it was even coronavirus, I was already a Okay, so I'm back. I'm sorry, I had to take that call. It was very important. Um, Yeah, before the coronavirus, I was already like a germaphobe. Um, I was already big on washing hands, sanitizer, and stuff like that. Only, <laughs> honestly, like, microbiology changed my life when I took that at Southwest. Um, it really, it truly changed my life. Like, I was teaching my husband and kids about all type of different organisms and non-living organisms that may be pathogens and stuff like that. Prior to this uh, COVID-19, so um, they helped me putting on their nasty to help me, y'all. <laughs> I was looking like man, <laughs> but I wanted to do it, so I had to think to myself, how bad you want to do this? And he you know I already paid for it and stuff like this, so I'm just like, man. <laughs> So I did it. Um, yeah, so it was unnerving once I got on because I realized I didn't have control and um, it wasn't, I want to say, they were well trained horses, like really well trained. So it wasn't that I didn't have control, I just wasn't used to this. It's not like I go horseback riding all the time and then. It was a very new experience and I didn't have a seatbelt like I do in a car or something like that. Like, it's the same way with me when it came to um, riding four wheels. Like, when we went over our, um, excuse me, relative houses and they had four wheels and stuff like that. And um, at least I had a helmet, <laughs> but again, a helmet was that. <laughs> So I was thinking about that and then um, the horse I was on, his name was Hank. Uh, you may or may not hear me say that in the video. I'm not really sure. I forgot. Um, and he was, he was very old and um, he went slow, which I love because, again, it was unnerving once I realized what I was getting ready to do and I got actually got on it. So... I'm just like, <laughs> you know, so, um, he was real sweet. He pooped while we was moving. <laughs> he pooped while we was moving. Um, 
he stopped. Like uh, the other, the other horses that was on on the trail that was pooped, they all pooped uh, pretty much. But the one in front of me, I had I could really just video while I was riding, cause I'm not a professional, first of all. And I didn't video while I was riding because uh, she just messing with the camera. I didn't video while I was riding because um, I didn't have that much control, and you have to keep your both hands on the uh, what's the matter, mama? You have to keep both your hands on the uh, damn, I forgot what they call it. What is that? What's it? Satchel? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I read so much. Like, yeah, I read a whole lot. And I forgot. I'm sorry. I got to breastfeed real quick. Yeah, y'all can't see that. But, anywho, um, so I had to keep both hands on it. So it's not like I had the video in my helmet or I'm, um, uh, or nothing like that. I had to, uh, I actually had a pouch, like a fanny pack, where my phone was in, but I didn't have my phone on my own or on my helmet. So, um, I couldn't video the ride, but they, we went uh, horseback riding in Shelby Ford Park, and it was only 30 minutes. It felt like an hour, but it was only 30 minutes. And they took us back, uh, like, through the woods and stuff like that. And um, it was with some volunteers. Um, none of the volunteers was from here. Um, I, one girl said she was from New York. Um, the other girl, I forgot what she said she was from. <sighs> yeah, y'all excuse me, but anywho. <laughs> what the matter? Yeah, so it was volunteers that was uh, actually teaching the course and stuff like that. I mean, I said the teaching the course, but was taking us on the, the course of the horseback riding. And uh, it was me and I want to say maybe five or six other girls um, that was riding. And uh, the girl that was behind me, she was very, very nice. And she was talking to me, asking me different questions. And really, that wasn't her first time. And she really helped keep me calm. Cause I was like really, really nervous, and um, I was I was really nervous once I got on and started riding, and we was going up and down the hills and stuff like that. And they would tell her, "You gotta lean forward, and you gotta lean back." I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, my horse started like steering off the trail and stuff, and I had to steer him back. So it was like a whole experience. It was truly a whole experience. But it was beautiful because it was something I wanted to do. And the hubby made that happen. So I was very happy about that. And um, that's what made it so beautiful because it was on my bucket list to do. I did it no matter what my nerves was talking about at the time. I did it. I made it through. And it was just beautiful. The scenery, it was even deer coming out in the trail in front of us. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, cool, fun. And um, I really enjoyed myself. Like, I was on the cloud nine after that. I mean, I'm still on the cloud nine, you know, like, even if I don't do anything else, like, my birthday month not over, but even if I don't do nothing else, like, I truly had a good time on my birthday. Um, after that, um, we went back to the house, chilled a little while. Um, yeah, because I was sore. That's another thing, like, they don't tell you when you go horseback riding. Well, nobody I know have been horseback riding, so I guess it's like a new experience all together for, yeah, I don't know. But anywho, I never, um talk to anyone that has been horseback riding but uh they don't tell you that you have to stretch like it's it's a real deal exercise and uh 
something fun to do so it wasn't I don't know I wasn't thinking like I'm about to go exercise so yeah anywho moving on that wasn't the only thing I did so after we came back to the house and rest for a, little, a couple of hours the hubby surprised me again and uh, as y'all can see my little baby she's always doing stuff she don't got no business doing like yeah messing with the outlet no, man, we do got to get covers for the outlet. Um, oh, no, no, baby. Yeah. Yeah, and he surprised me, and he took me out to a uh, Mexican restaurant. Because that's another thing I said I wanted on my birthday. Like, I even wanted to go get pizza or some type of Mexican food. Um, cause I love those who think my favorite food is pizza, pepperoni pizza, but I definitely, definitely either, um, second runner up is, uh, Mexican food. I'm like my mama on there, may she rest in peace. I don't know if I ever shared that on here or not. I know my hubby did, um, about losing my mom in 2018, but yeah, and my mama really loved Mexican food. But that's my second favorite. I love Mexican food. That's something that I'm not totally burnt out uh, uh, about. And I still have good memories with Mexican food. And I, I love it. Some people sometimes be thinking I'm of that order. And I'm like, no. I'm mixed with nigga and nigga. Okay, black and black. Excuse my lingo. But <laughs> I mean lingo. I said lingo. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I'm just going on and on, and this is getting lengthy, so I'm going to cut it short. I basically just had a great time. I wasn't expecting a whole lot uh, for my birthday. The hubby did his thing. Um, my kids also made me cards. Um, I haven't hung them up yet. I need to do that. They made me cards. Uh, Travis gives me with something. Um, he feels so bad in his car. He was talking about, I have such a 
a pure heart and I deserve so much and it's so much he he wants to give me and it really touched me uh, and Marley made his card without me even asking of course Mandela didn't make nothing because Mandela is Mandela and she's a baby <laughs> And I love her all the same. But it was it was just beautiful. It was everything I imagined it would be. I turned to big 30. I looked cute. I had two outfit changes. And um I crossed them at my bucket list. I went to a Mexican restaurant. Um ate some good Mexican food, got full. Um I just truly enjoyed myself. And um, I spent it with my COC, class of claws, my family, my media family, and um, I just felt so loved. And um, not just on my birthday, but um, it was it just meant so much to me that they um, made sure that I knew that I was special. And of course, I did act like a brat on my birthday at school. Um, y'all might see that, but I just had a good time, y'all. I'm still smiling from it. I got a few cash apps, which I'm appreciative of that. Um, other good deeds and stuff like that. And I just, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from anyone, really, in the fact that my hubby made it special and my kids made it special and I just had a good time. I, I truly did. So, this video is just me telling y'all um, how I feel, what what all took place on my birthday and stuff like that. Um, when I turned 30, I still can't believe that, but I just had a great time. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> y'all like how many times you gonna say you had a great time but I truly did and um <laughs> I truly did but uh y'all stay tuned for another one and uh again shout out to my hubby and my kids and my friends my bestest friends too uh for making sure that I had a beautiful um birthday and with the gifts and stuff like that and um shout out to my facebook friends and ig friends and snapchat friends and other family and friends that called or text me on that day it was just truly beautiful and special and my hubby he i can't mention enough i know i'm, I'm saying the whole lot i know y'all like dang girl you really love him <laughs> but it's not just my birthday. He he does go above and beyond. And I just want to make sure I press on that. And shout him out on that. Because sometimes he don't always feel appreciated. But I do appreciate my boo. No matter how much I'm acting like a brat. But make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make sure you click that notification bell. So you can know when we drop another one. Uh, again, I turned that big 30 on September the 10th. And thank you guys for watching. Shout out to all our old and new subscribers. We love you. We could not be who we are without you. COC out. Love you. I give you my heart.